Hey guys, welcome to the HVAC Diaries. Today is Friday, March 3rd, and this is my weekly HVAC vlog. So last week was super exciting and fun and so much on the go, and this week was totally opposite. <laughs> it was a really slow week, mostly due to the weather. We had a snowfall warning last weekend, and that came. In fact, we had snow pretty much every day this week in some form. We've had some strange weather. So, yeah, and one day it was falling so much that we decided to just not go out that day. And sometimes that's just like a risk analysis thing we have to do. It's not worth the risk going out one day and not being able to go out more. Like if we get into any kind of cat accident or car situation, we would rather choose to not work one day than to be forced to not work for however long, right? So we had very few service calls this week. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, They'll deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by Slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man. I still go. Go, 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 go. And probably the main event would be our crane day on Monday. We replaced that rooftop unit that I spoke about last week. It snowed on Sunday. It did not snow on Monday morning. And then by the time we'd finished our lift and our installation, it started snowing so much. So it was like the weather just cooperated enough for us to do our crane day. Range all the bad to okay. Take the worst thoughts saying, turn them to a game. Take the best thoughts saying, put them on display. On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain. Oh. Never slow yourself down, you can do some more. Push past, start a pain, and you find a door. Open it up and finally explore everything that you thought you could never do before. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway. And in the driveway, is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh, they deceive with the negativity. But I just slide right by that energy. Uh, even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. So the place that we 
replace that rooftop unit ad. It's a place that sells really high-end kitchen appliances like Sub-Zero fridges and mm, I don't know what other brands they've got there, but super fancy. And what they've got is also like a demonstration kitchen where they have cooking classes and demonstrations and stuff like that. Um, and so when we told them about the cracked heat exchanger, they were like, well, we need that place to be warm. So make it happen. <laughs> and so we did. Last Friday, when we had the time, we pulled out all the refrigerant from the unit. It's an R22 system. Um, and in order to scrap that unit, take it to the like the junkyard, it has to have no refrigerant inside of it. So we've got to remove all the refrigerant. And we usually also remove the, um, the Schrader valves. So that there's no question, there's no refrigerant in there at all. So yeah, my dad and I did that last Friday when we had some sunshine and I'm um, really glad that we did that because the lift went super smoothly. I was communicating with the crane operator again. That was my second try doing it. And it went really well. The crane operator told me that it went well. So I had a chat with him beforehand because apparently some crane operators like to use north, south, east, west, and some like to use right, left, up, down, whatever. So I spoke to him before and I'm like, is it cool if we use north, south, east, west? And he's like, yep, perfect. So yeah, it was really cool. I feel like I have so much power in my hand. It's so cool. It's so cool. Also this week I spent one morning replacing two thermostats. In an office, like an administrative office for a sawmill. And it smells so nice there. Oh my goodness, the wood and mm, it's so nice. But that day I was dressed for working outdoors in the snow and I spent a few hours indoors just literally, I couldn't even like put the wires in the places that had to go. I was sweating so much. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that, but yeah, I had to get like rid of a bunch of layers before I could do my job. It... The time of the season right now where you have to dress for everything. It's, it's tough. One of our service calls this week was very interesting. So this guy, he calls us up. Um, we've done a couple of jobs for a pool company. So they referred us to this guy who has this really beautiful house. And he said that he would had another company come in and look at his pool dehumidifier and apparently the compressor was condemned, which we confirmed. So we took a look at it and you guys, oh, what a nightmare. It's in this really small, tight mechanical room. Um, it, yeah, take a look. We've decided that we're gonna do this job. We're gonna give it a go next week. <laughs> and, uh, I'm really nervous, but also quite excited to see what we're going to do. I think we're gonna try and install a little like chain hoist in his concrete ceiling. We're gonna have to build some kind of like scaffolding. Anyway, that job is gonna happen. I am not going to take any videos of it at all, so I'll just have to tell you how it went. Hopefully successful, but we'll see. And you guys know we've replaced a number of those water source heat pumps in that office building. Well, we went over there today to grab two of the old units. They're just basically sitting there and my brother and I want to strip them and just kind of get a really good grasp of the internal components and everything in that, in that heat pump. So we went there today to grab them and the guy's like, oh, well, we've got these three in this storage room and these three here. And the it's like a heat pump graveyard over there. Go, 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 
So yeah, we're gonna take all of the units eventually and it'll be a cool little experience for me to um, recover all of the refrigerants and then take out all of the components. So yeah, that'll be fun. I'm very much looking forward to Wednesday. It's International Women's Day and our first official in-person event for the Women in HVAC Art Canada. Too bad it's going to be in Ontario and I won't be able to attend in person, but I will be there virtually. And I hope that if you're in Vaughan, Ontario, you go and check it out. It's on Wednesday, March 8th at 1 p.m. Registration starts at noon and it's going to be a wicked, a wicked event. I wish I was there in person. I'm going to have such FOMO on that day. Well, I told you it was a quiet week. So that's all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of the HVAC Diaries HVAC Vlog. I feel like I need to shout that from the rooftops every time I say it. I don't. I know that I don't. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Okay, focus. You got this. You enjoyed. <laughs> okay, why can't I get this done?